Yeah, David Dread of Steel Pulse, and I'm saying heal to Lion Voice because it's time that the lion have its voice, have its own story. Says I'm stepping out here. Hear me now. Yeah, the lion's voice. Raw. <laughs> I mean, uh, the time has come for the lioness to tell our own story. No surrender, no retreat. We are judge a soldier. Rougher than the streets, tougher than a boulder. Bigging up Lance voice. Now I'm put it. I jolly for say that. I'm say greetings. This is Kabanka Pyramid representing the Lion Voice Vlog. Make sure that them check it out and stay tuned. See? Rastafari blessings every time. I do. Love, this is Queen Omega representing for all lions and lionesses. With the lion's voice, we come to tell our story. Rastafari, I live it. Hey, hey, the lion's voice, Rastafari. Well, actually, Queen Omega and Kosha, they're like family, you know. But I know Queen Omega before Kosha, you know, and she always there. She she always seen from since the day I never really did sing and stuff like that, but no Queenie. And you know, in the future time to come, as been a little bit in the music and stuff, you know, she's been supporting and I give thanks and stuff, you know. And then she like link her and like, I would like to do a song with you. I'm a big up treble and I'm a big up all, all them brothers and them lions for everyone that they'll put everything together and link up each artist and stuff. So treble big up yourself. And she linked her and she was like, yo, Jalifa, I want to do a tune with you. Not knowing that that same tune was going to be featured on her latest album. And I was like, it was like mind blowing, you know, from listening to Queenie as a youth growing up and then being able to make a song with her. That was like, wow, that's truly a blessing and I'm grateful. And so she, she linked us and then they linked Empress Koshite, my sister too. And we went to the studios, pick up Sadiki, pick up everyone who was there, you know, put in the work. And well, let me make it straight one time. My said brother Abashanti. Him compose a lot of my music. I also write music for myself, but him compose a lot of my main songs that you see out and now that people get to know who is Jolly from, you know? So I may have to big up Abba Shanti likewise, because him helped put in the pen in, in the song too, in some parts of the song. So when we reach to the studio, we listen to the rhythm, we start vibes on it. Queenie heard it from outside. She came in and she, start, she listened what we put together and she was like, I like it, I like it. And then she start from there and then Kushai came in to start a pen. We all did our thing. Queenie come under the background book. It was a it was a edifying experience. It was a beautiful experience. And I give thanks to share that space and that moment and time with my sisters. Likewise, you know, because everyone always look out for one to be, as they say, catty, but we lioness. We don't have no time for them kind of thing. You know, it's just love and unity amongst our sisters, our mothers. You know, and we are daughters of Rastafari, you know, so we see ourselves as one. So it was a magnificent experience, an edifying one, and I, I truly yeah. give thanks, you know. And you're seeing it in the works now, because you're seeing how far it reached, you know, and a lot of people who is giving us positive, you know, feedbacks on it and thing, and I'm truly grateful. Pick up yourself, Queen Omega. <laughs> Freedom Legacy album out there. It's, yeah. <laughs> Will you ever see Alanis look pretty and nice up? She always did on the feel of her and she a go for the food. She she a look out for the pride. She not too nice up and, and all them things. That's how the man them not jet to and them all, you know, but the queen they on the forefront I protect the turf. You know, so me have to keep it jet because not saying I'm like I'm putting it on, I'm just different. You know, other females will come up with them own style and I respect that, you know, who love to sing and who love to do this and that but i love to keep it fiery you know that's the difference i want to bring and express myself because this is how i love to express myself you know you know let me see it's not like if i'm trying to scare anybody because a lot of people you know get kind of scared when they see my face i'm not too smiley but in my heart there is love you know in my heart there is love empress Menon is the perfect example of what a true woman should be you know walking within that divine order of a true woman laws and principles and commandments you know 
a woman that fear the Lord, you know, shall be praised in the kingdom, you know. And and that is the definition of Mama Mega, you know. Because Mama Mega trusted within all the divine principle of a woman. And, and as a mother and as a sister and as a daughter, you know. Because she's the mother of nation, all nation. Because all nation come out of Black Sarah, you know, Mother Mary. That is so men in I stand, you know. And I highly esteem that woman, you know, as the mother of Zion, because that is who she is, you know. And I will forever walk in her footstep, you know, as a divine woman, you know, and as a divine woman to be forever more. So and I give thanks for Empress Men and I, a true woman, you know, bring forth life, you know, nurture her family, speak all upright words, you know. These are all the things, you know, of a true woman that, you know, Empress Men and shine and I give thanks for her continually. Because it's Empress Men and have I I trod the way I walk, you know, through the teachings of my mother and what I saw from my mother, that is what I do likewise, you know, and that is what I understand after a while that that is the definition of how a true woman should carry about herself within full respect, you know. So, and I give thanks to Empress Men, like it's, I could go on because, you know, Empress Men is a very big inspiration unto I, you know. She's a, a, a great hero because she fights for us too, you know. She made her point of her to feel to like Tate, go and, you know, Zordi too. And then she a real warrior. So me give thanks to Empress Men and I. The balance. That's the fire. Come on. I'm going to give you something sweet. I mean, uh, black it is my everything, the features and the color of my skin. Me not gonna say when me blackness and it's a bleaching. Me love me African wool, me not wear no weaving. So what little me a secret hiding? Black it is my everything, the features and the color of my skin. Me not gonna show when me blackness and it's a bleaching. Me love me African wool, me not wear no weaving. So what little me a secret hiding? Something to get me bald before me love start grow. Me black beautiful skin in a leprous light. No, I like your list, man. I like your list, no matter where me go. Me not go bleach up my skin just like the sweet old Jacko. You must be mad. Certain distance me not go go because me got a lot of dough. Me not go replace me toes. Some girl act like them perfect with counterfeit glow. Check out the body look, pop them when them take life out. Well, my advice. Them, that's the people first choice. Lion voice, make the lion let them feel nice. Lion voice, with the lion cubs we sacrifice. Lion voice, got to show the people them the life. Lion voice. What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Light to the world. King of kings and the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Hey yo, hey I hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky, it's a lie. The Almighty living on your life. From ancient times, them a try. Them Romans know them just up in them suit and ties. Some people want fix it, some people get ready for it. Nation ships and men from the world are going to die. Fans like Miss Hunters and Hunters just watch them practice. Some people are trying to watch them as she thinks about the money. Every weekend she has search for your love. Them young boy to a grind them up to the end But the boy know what they do that get The bloody hip they make up in the hobby And we'll be fine now If it's too many hoes with a panic in a boat The things we do get out What is it about? You can see it Hell them in a Jamaica Island I see at the almighty Jamaica So them tell us You think go only one man You sit up on the average door Ancient time, the prophesies about how the Almighty would arise. Some say him would have come from the sky. Sunday, some people love it, tell the people pure life. From ancient time, they must try to make you believe you can't see heaven till you die. They told you that heaven's in the sky. Come to tell them you've been tricked by the lies. Come to tell them that the devil will be. Greetings in that divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. Glory and honor in the name of his chosen queen, Empress Wazir Menen. My name is Kwasi Bansu, aka the Chasmat Kwasi, 
aka Rasquasi, aka the Reading Ras, aka the Pan African Happy Man. I'm a creative industry attorney. I'm an artist. I'm an author. I'm an actionist. And right now, I am the host of Lion Talk. Welcome to Lion Talk and welcome to the Lion Voice Network. This is the program where we are hearing the voice of the lion and the lioness. We have a very special guest today. We are returning to the island of Trinidad. Uh, the IDMC, we have been focusing on the second largest Rastafari population in the Western Hemisphere behind Jamaica alone. Uh, we had Bongo Greece on the platform. We had Queen Omega on the platform. And today we have another mighty angel from Trinidad. I can't forget Empress Sharon uh, who came on the platform and, and has been instrumental in making connections for I and I as a lion pride in Trinidad. So uh, we are going to be highlighting our Trinidad family because they have some fire and flames coming out of Trinidad. So if you haven't seen the Queen Omega, the Empress Sharon, the Bongo Greece, all of these um, interviews, please um, go forward on the platform and take them in. Today is another musical episode, meaning that we are headed into the musical realms. Um, I am an artist with a big voice. And, you know, tonight we have an artist that also join I in that category with the big voice but when you see this princess this royal princess you you would have never know the too much because bear flames this lioness roar and yet still so feminine and delicate in the appearance and the and the movement so we're gonna find out how she find this fire voice uh we're gonna go into uh some of her works because this is not a new artist it's a Asian artist coming up new farm uh lion pride lion pride and patreon please help i to welcome the royal fire princess jalifa royal blessings my sister royal blessings honorable it's a pleasure to be here on lion and lioness stuff <laughs> it's an honor it's an honor yes yes um you know, I, I was telling Sister before she came on, this is her platform. So uh, we are home and I'm I'm so happy to be able to introduce the eye to the global Rastafari family. I know enough of them have been listening to your music. Um, but today we go deep into the Rastafari essence of why the lyrics are so potent. Please tell mm. I and I, you know, where the I was born and the I journey to Rastafari. Yes, sir, Rastafari. Well, I and I come from Trinidad and Tobago. I was birthed, you know, in a general hospital part of Spain. My neighborhood is Gonzalez Chocolate Alley. I grew up within a cultural, you know, background, within the faith of Rastafari, you know, laws and commandments, principles and statutes, Exodus chapter 20, Numbers chapter 6, Leviticus 25. Deuteronomy 28. So I never have scriptical life, an ancient life, you know, because we're Boba Shanti, and Boba Shanti means God's first gods and goddess of creation, you know, and that's how I and I was brought up within that ancient order, you know, first creation order, you know, within righteousness and natural way of life, you know, pure and clean and original. You know, so I and I never like sight of Rastafari and, and, and choose it. I Rastafari I choose her, you know, from the womb, you know, and from ever since I and I old and strong because to me there is nothing else greater and sweeter than Rastafari life, you know, the most natural and pure and clean way, you know, possible in this whole world because that's all I got, you know, and from ever since I and I old strong, you know, all our brothers and sisters. You know, because my father and my mother started to try Rastafari within a, a tender age too, within them teens. You know, them start to start to Naya being the order, you know, and, and them get the fullness and teachings from North El or something. And then them start to seek, you know, the Boba Shanti Liberty, which is the highest order, you know. Well, Naya Bingi and, and 12 tribe and Orthodox Boba Shanti, we are all one because we see one God, you know. So we are all his children and we are all 
go on people, you know? You see? Uh, I love that confidence. I'm on Chad out of the Naya Bing girls. So I love that confidence, you know, and, and the elders that I grounded with were actually, you know, bridging with um, Prince Emmanuel. So I, I was able to get a lot of the history from back of all, you know what I mean, and, and from them time there. So it really is a joy to hear the eye as a second generation far eye. And I want to salute the eye mother. You know, we're recording this on Mother's Day. It's going to air shortly, but I want to salute the eye mother and the eye father because to hear a second generation so firm, you know, I don't know if the eye know how, how good the eye make I feel for here because I have youths and I just pray, you know, that my youth them could even be as firm sounding as the eye. I have to commend the eye father, the eye mother for their, their wonderful work before we go any further in the interview. Salute. Um, so in terms of in terms of the eye journey now, you know what I mean? Um, yes, you were in a home where Bobo Shanti was the other. When did you start seeking knowledge for the eye self in terms of seeking out certain books or you know trying to have that personal relationship with his majesty Empress Menden, Prince Emmanuel, Marcos, you know, when did that really lock into the eye consciousness? Well, naturally, from the age of seven, that knowledge and that spark hits, you know, because all I saw growing up is just that. I saw nothing else. So to me, that was just part of I naturally, you know? So it never come to I that I have to do a lot. It come like if I am fortunate, you know, that I get to grow up and to know about Rastafari and this will not somebody telling me, but I'm actually watching and I'm learning from example, you know? And from ever since from when you grew up, it's always been my focus because Rastafari is my life, you know? as I like. So it will always be I focus. It will always be in my everyday and everything that I do. You know? From young until now. You know? And, and, and I, you know, I've, I've been watching some interviews of the I and, and the I history and you say your father is the one that really you credit with a lot of the musical influence. Um, you know, yes, your, your bigger brother and thing, we're going to get to that. But talk to us about the role that your yes. father has played in terms of the eye development. Oh, wow. Well. well, my father is a great man, a very intelligent, loving and kind man, you know. And he wasn't just into music, you know, and he wasn't just a Rastafarian member. He was also a leader. You know, he used to host a gathering house, which was set by King Emmanuel, Charles Edward, in the late 70s, I think, for the early, I think it's the late 70s. You know, he, he gave the man that blessing that he could have a, a gathering house, because him do have no taba and stuff like that. And him never let go in music and stuff. And him always celebrate Black Holy Month, you know, like every day we celebrate the 23rd, the visitation, and him and all have vibes and a lot of ones were coming from all house of Rastafari, all walks of life. And him always play music and a DJ. And him always give me the mic. Him love MC and, and, and stuff like that. And when him sparring and stuff, him always give me the mic. And I used to wonder, yo, we can't sing. And you're giving me the mic. <laughs> yo, so we used to take it still because it was a joy. I'm going to love it. And that really gravitated eye towards music and wanting to always do it just for fun when I was younger, just for fun. But when I grow older, it's because of my elder brother, which is our Shanti, what make I want to take on music within a profession, you know, in, in that kind of... So, but it's my father. It's my father. Him started the thing. Him is the root of it, you know? So I give thanks to him every time and him knowledge he give on to I, you know? What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Okay. Light to the world. King of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. And like himself, where's my ruler? Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July So tell them guy, who prays God up in the sky It's a lie, the almighty living on your night 
from ancient times, them a try them Romans, throw them just up in them suit and ties Criminals ain't got no alibi, they stole my people Then them come through without them genocide Still, them couldn't kill The lion will come conquer to the tribe Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe See sufferation, I your nice still rise That's why we tell them in America Live Rastafari in every ghetto area We come to tell them in Toronto Straight to Ethiopia, them youths them won't go Look how we tell them in Jamaica I live I see the almighty creator So then we tell all the youths in Rome Only one man can sit upon the average toy From ancient time they prophesied about how the Almighty would arise. Some say him would have come from the sky. Sunday, some people love it, tell the people pure life. From ancient time they must try to make you believe you can't see heaven till you die. They told you that heaven's in the sky. Come to tell them that you've been tricked by the lies. Come to tell them that the devil wearing a disguise, acting like a holy man, a planning evil enterprise. Bless bombs and bombs and gas from sky Come with cash, couldn't buy Rastafari Does he's the head without fear Mussolini don't try Death them hanging up in at the square So we tell them in Italy I listen to the mean powers of the trinity And then we tell them in London I listen to the higher than the queen of England And then we tell them Trinidad, I listen to the sea, I am higher than the sky god That's when we tell all the youths in Rome When we go them locks long no more since the sad goes Ayo, the people them searching for the truth So me tell them, said them got to seek it from the root Tell the ghetto youths, tell the ghetto youths Watch real close, who design on the nose, guns where you shoot King Dave is lying, we salute H to far right, born 1892 Ask them who built the OAU at this bar. Show you what our father do. From a bubble and I see them wrinkle lines. Who bend them see the burden of the prophecy? Are you still talking about that? Tell me, come to tell them our point of view. Worldwide. Each and every must be right and cool. Well, what is written if you come to is we don't record with King Selassie, I do. I heard Selassie, I die. And they better my kingdom can't prove. Somebody tell them Babylon said them to move.